in class 8 in the previous class we have study about the how we can store the food grain what is the method how we keep the grain safe from pest and microorganism today we are going to learn how we get the food from animals we have discussed in that class also one thing that the two mainly animal are categorized which give us food one is milk yielding animal and other is meat and egg yielding animals so let's continue the example of milk yielding animals means the example of animal that give us milk are cow buffalo and goat milk is an perfect natural diet milk and its product are called dairy product the product that are made from milk are known as dairy product what are the dairy product the product that are made from milk is known as dairy product now see what they product are butter ghee curd and cheese are highly nutritious food and the example of meat and egg yielding animals are goat sheep fish and fish and poultry farm poultry means the poultry farm is a place where domesticated animal raised understood jahan kuch animals ko domesticate animals ko pala jata that is known as poultry and out of these animal goat sheep and fish give us meat in sub misses of goat sheep or fish kya hoti hai meat deti hai but poultry animals give us meal uh, sorry meat also as well as egg also what they give poultry animal give us meat also as well as eggs also honey is an other nutritious food obtained from animal and the uh, honey that you eat that is also an animal product it's not a plant product understood because it's get prepared by the bees in the bee hives so it is an animal product it is obtained from the insects called bee honey is obtained from the insects called bees now animal husbandry what is our next topic animal husbandry so what is animal husbandry first of all we know the topic that animal husbandry is a branch of agriculture in which they study about the feeding shelter and health of domestic animal is known as animal husbandry now see just as even crops has its own requirement for proper soil irrigation irrigation manure and fertilizer jaise crops ko irrigation uh, unki need ke liye irrigation manures and fertilizers chahiye we decide chahiye for their proper growth same way domesticated animals also need the food shelter and health care as you can see the animal that your pet at your home you can uh, you also take care of them you feed them give them shelter also and take care for their health also that is known as animal husbandry so the branch of agriculture which which deal with the feeding shelter health and breeding of domestic animal is called as animal husbandry the various practices necessary for raising animals for food and other purpose are what the factor are proper feeding of the animals means they get the proper diet or proper food proper shelter where they live the place are clean or not these things in come in the proper shelters prevention and cure for the animal disease means if they get infected or any other things if they get disease the proper cure and treatment of the animal and proper breeding of animal how they survive so these are come in the uh, deal with the agriculture branch it's deal with the agriculture branch this is known as animal husbandry in which we can take care about the feeding of animal shelter of animal prevention cure for the animal and proper breeding of the animals milk giving animals are also known as milch animal or cattle like cows and buffalo are reared on small scale in rural homes rural area mein kya hota hai that you can see that milch yielding animals are the pet of their uh, on a large scale they are reared in a big dairy farm in the 
रूरल एरिया दे डोमेस्टिकेट इन अ स्मॉल स्केल बट इन द लार्ज एरिया वॉट दे दो दे मैनी डोमेस्टिकेटेड एनिमल लाइक मिल्च एनिमल्स आर रियड इन अ बिग डेयरी फार्म टू ऑप्टेन दियर मिल्क एंड सप्लाई टू द मार्केट नाउ फिश एज अ फूड वॉट इज आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक फिश एज अ फूड फिश इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट सोर्स ऑफ एनिमल फूड मेनी पीपल लिविंग इन द कोस्टल एरिया कोस्टल एरिया मीन्स द सी साइड एरिया मीन्स सी शोर यू कैन से कंज्यूम फिश एज अ मेजर पार्ट ऑफ देयर डाइट वॉट दे कंज्यूम दे कंज्यूम फिश एज देयर मेजर पार्ट ऑफ डाइट मेनली देयर फूड इज फिश द पीपल्स दैट लिव इन द सी साइड एरिया द मेजर फूड इज फिश fish is rich in protein it is highly nutritious and easily digestible food fish is a source of good source of protein and it's highly nutritious food and it can be easily digested fish liver oil is rich in vitamin a and the liver oil of fish is very rich source of vitamin a and vitamin d for example cod liver oil cod fish liver oil is rich in vitamin a and vitamin d now we are on the position to answer the questions in this way your lesson is completed first lesson of bio is completed class 8 i hope so that you have got explanation if you have any kind of confusion just ask me the questions i will answer you of your answer of your questions now what we have to do we have to do the question answers after that we will move through the next lesson in the next class class 8 please do a good revision here are some question very short given that you can see first is which agriculture practice is carried out with the help of sickle sickle is a tool i have tell you so which agriculture practice is carry out by the help of sickle you have to answer what name is given to the cutting and gathering of food crops like wheat and paddy name the tool used in the traditional harvesting of the crops fourth name the process of beating out the grains from the harvested crops these are the question that you get in the homework also please do it in your book only don't write it in your fair copy understood if you don't have your book do it in your rough copy but please don't write these question in your fair copy understood have a nice day bye bye